What's up everyone? How are you all doing today? So today is a little bit something different. I'm not just doing any commentary gameplay or anything. This is just a message, just a you know, just a little heart to heart, I guess you can call it. A little chat from me to you. Uh just me basically saying, you know, just just thank you for all the support. I've been doing uh for on and I for nearly seven years. Obviously, in, in February, it's going to be officially seven years, but uh, I did first play it in September uh, 2016, the closed alpha beta. So, you know, a good a good few months before the actual release, I played the game for the first time. I fell in love with it then. It's been a long journey. It has been a long time. Um, yeah, I started this channel on Dark Souls 3, you know, completely new to content. You know, check, check this clip out just, just to see the difference of now and when I started. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Um, I'm not a big fan of speaking on the mic in videos, to be honest. I find it pretty awkward. This is probably the first time I've ever done it, so bear with me. Uh, and a huge thank you to everyone that has subbed and liked the videos. I'm almost at 1k subs now, and I honestly never imagined I'd get so much support like this, so thanks very much, guys. So yeah, it's been a pretty long time, and I'm pretty sure when For Honor was released, I think my channel was at around 4 or 5k subs, something around that number. Uh, you know, so I, I when I came to For Honor, I had like a decent, like a small base of people that came with me to check the game out, so that kind of helped my channel get off the ground. Um, you know, obviously, I was not a full-time content creator or anything, so videos weren't every day. Maybe like one or two videos a week or something I was doing. So I was trying to make it work, but the you know the, the channel was growing um, quite a lot, and I really didn't expect it to. I would have never expected it to get to where it is right now. You know, 220k subs. Um, you know, but it's all been on one game, so pretty much. Uh, so obviously, when I when I do post other games and stuff obviously that doesn't get as many views but it still does get some and i'm grateful for that because when i eventually switch over to another game and well if i do then i'll have again i'll have a decent base viewership to be able to take to another game and then maybe grow in something else but to be honest there's no other games right now that's kind of you know that i have the passion for like i did with frana i fell in love with frana instantly and that's why I've been playing it for, and doing content for almost seven years on it now. Um, there's no other games right now that like kind of give me that same same passion and that same fire that For Honor does. So, you know, until that game does come, whether it be uh, a completely different game, whether it be another Ubisoft game that is similar or a sequel or a relaunch or whatever, man, I don't know what's what the future holds. But whatever it is, I'll, I'll totally be here for it. But until then, you know, I, I am still doing For Honor stuff. And don't get me wrong, guys. Like, the thing is, I'm only human. I'm, I'm a human. I'm just a normal guy. Um, I make mistakes. I learn from them. I try to grow. I'm not perfect, man. And sometimes, you know, life can get a bit too much. You know, I don't talk about my, my life that much. I mean, I've got, I've got an awesome girlfriend. I've got beautiful daughters. I've got a decent life. So that I, like, I don't like to complain about things in my life and mental health and stuff because there's always somebody out there that's like so much worse off. Do you know what I mean? So like, I'm grateful for what I do have and I'm not the one to complain about life and stuff, which is why I don't talk about it much. But you guys know how it is. Sometimes when you're playing For Honor and when you've played it for so long, um, you know, it's you can find yourself getting a little bit wound up sometimes. You can get you can find yourself being salty sometimes, maybe a little bit toxic. Like or if someone's being toxic to you, for example, um, usually, you know, if I'm in a good mindset, I can just ignore it. But then sometimes when I'm not in a good mindset, I kind of just give it back. And, you know, I shouldn't really, but like, like I said, we're only human, and I'm sure a lot of you can relate to me. Like, for honor, this game can get under your skin a little bit. But don't get, don't get me wrong, I do love this game. I love it. That's why I've played it for seven years. I love the game. It's still, it's still the most unique game out there, I feel. There's no other game out there quite like this, and I don't know if there will be for a while. You know, to be honest, after like the first, uh, like the first year of the game, when there was all that negativity, when that when that guy won that tournament with like using exploits, uh, and the game lost a lot of mainstream view viewership, a lot of uh, players. You know, who would have thought that the game would make it to where it is now in year seven, still being supported by the devs, 
we're still getting you know all this new all new content all the time like the fact that the devs and and the ubisoft team are still working on the game and still supporting it is is awesome man i love i love to see that i'm so happy that um that they're still doing that so props to them man you know i know that they don't always get it right with you know changes and stuff like these recent bash changes for example like i know they missed with some things but i'm sure they'll fix it they're trying they're clearly trying the best to just make the game uh the best for everybody competitive and casual guys do wish that the um changes and stuff fixes would come a little bit quicker but i don't know what the situation is with the funding how much how big the team is you know how much funding they're getting all that stuff i don't know but i i for one personally i'm still extremely grateful for for them fully supporting the game still and i hope they still continue to like i've uh, like i've mentioned previously i would like to see a massive advertisement push uh obviously this community is like pretty awesome the game has had a dedicated community for a long time and I, you know that's why the game is still going i'm assuming that's why the game's not been cancelled because there's still fucking so many dedicated players and now that they've added crossplay into the game matchmaking is pretty quick in the majority of the game modes to be honest but as a content creator obviously um the views aren't as great uh when you know in between in, in between new content and stuff hero releases uh you know there's the views can drop quite a lot and you know it is it is hard for us especially if we're doing it full time but it is to be expected and i try not to um like dwell too much on that and worry about it because rather than focus on uh you know the people that aren't watching the videos anymore i'm still very very grateful for all the people that still are watching the videos so i try i'm trying my best to be um you know as good a content creator and and as i can be for you guys and th that's why i'm making this video to thank you because lately i've been kind of letting things slip a little bit with my mental and being negative and I, I really don't like it it's like after last night's stream for example it was such a shit stream and i was in such a crappy mood i was tired i was moody and then i went to bed like afterwards and then i was just i was like man i feel so shit i wish i could just like go back on the pc now go live again and then just have another just like have a good fun couple of hours but I, you know it, it genuinely does bother me when when i get like that and I, I will really try hard not to anymore because when i sit back and i really think about it and, and i realize how grateful i am for for this journey that i've had with uh for honor and the youtube and you guys the community um it does make me feel better and it does make me want to be better so you know i just need to just reflect a little bit more i'm grateful for everything i know a lot of you people would be like just take a break have a you know i have taken breaks in the past and then i've come back and then it's you know it's been better but financially it isn't great that i do that a lot of the a lot of you guys that have been part of my community for a while know that i was doing a lot of 15 hour shifts like long night shifts that just was not healthy at all it wasn't good for my my health at all so whilst i have been doing full-time uh, youtube i have definitely been in a more healthy mindset but like i said obviously the views do do drop and i don't earn as much and it is tough but it is what it is man and you know it was my choice to go full-time and, and if I do need to go back working uh, the long shifts, that's fine. I will do what I need to do. But I just wanted to make this video just to say thank you to the people that still do support me. Whether you're, whether you're an OG from years and years ago or whether you're new to the channel. I love you each and all the same. I appreciate every single one of you that still watch and still support me. So thank you. And I'm going to try my best to be um, just a much better version of me for you and to give you better content and better live streams and all that stuff i'm grateful to for honor and for the devs still still supporting the game and you know they've given me amazing opportunities in the past they gave me early access to new content which i'm grateful for and uh, you know they they flew me out to la like a few years ago where i was playing on the stage when the the shadows of the hitakiri event was was revealed for the first time i was playing on stage i got to spend some time in la which was like a once in a lifetime opportunity and then i've also been to montreal twice as well 
one for the uh for the Yormungandr reveal and then for the Zanhu reveal I think it was so so and they they was just amazing trips like the, the team the people at Ubisoft are just so nice they treated treated us so well so I am forever grateful for all of you so like I said from from this day on I will be better I will give it my best all the time i will keep playing this game and supporting this game until the day that it dies no matter how low the views get i will always continue to support this game and all we and all i can do is just hope that you know there is something after this like i said before whether it be a relaunch a sequel a different game with like a similar combat style fighting style because i still think that i still think that for honor is the best fucking multiplayer combat pvp game ever i still believe that like, there's no other game that has come close to this in terms of PvP, man. Like, in my opinion, this game is just the perfect concept. Obviously, it had a bad launch. Um, you know, with it being such a unique game, it would have been impossible to get this game right first time. So all the work that they've done over the years, I would hope would not go to waste if the game dies. I would hope that all that work would go to, into something else like so we can we can just hope and pray that whatever is next is going to be awesome and and for me as well like in a in a completely like selfish kind of manner like for my channel i would like something similar to this game so that i can con continue to grow and continue to do this you know so from from a selfish point of view as well i would love nothing more than another game so yeah guys I just, i'll probably end up posting this and then i'll like be like oh man i wish i'd said this or said this but i can't think of anything else right now that i want to say other than you know just long story short thank you for the support for all the years um i'm sorry that as the you know recently my mental health has been slipping a bit and i've been being you know a little bit negative and not as fun to watch i'm gonna be better and work on that i promise and thank you to the devs for you know supporting the game still and giving us things to look forward to like you know we've got the we've got the viking hero coming up that we've got to look forward to the viking season where we get a brand new viking hero skin for we don't know what hero that's going to be yet let me know in the comments what you guys are gonna you know think that will be for we've got that and then we've got a whole full brand new viking hero again have no idea what that's going to be uh, I, th I think it would be pretty cool if it was like some shield maiden or something. I'm not sure. But yeah, we've got that to look forward to. So thank you, Frona, devs and, and the team, Ubisoft, for still giving us content to look forward to and, and things to look forward to. Guys, don't give up on this game, man. You know, we've come so far. Uh, so much work has gone into the game. It is it's still it's still the best game in my opinion. Hopefully the next few patches are gonna be good and you know then hopefully we can you know maybe push out some advertisement or something for the game, get more players in, get it try and get it a bit more mainstream or I don't know man, relaunch, sequel, a different game. I don't know man. But let's just hope anyway. But all we can do is just keep going, keep supporting the devs, keep supporting the game, but most of all support each other, man. You don't know what the other person is going through in life. Some people, you know, they come on for honor to try and escape, uh, you know. So let's all try and be better to each other. And that's all I've got to say right now. Just thank you, guys. Thank you for the support. Love you all. And I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. I will catch you all later on the live stream. Later tonight. Goodbye. Bye-bye.